Our world, when seen from afar, poses more questions than answers. However, with the advances in imaging technology, the view above the Earth is becoming more and more clear, and we are gaining an ever greater appreciation for the answers this view can provide. Welcome to the Upper Green River Valley of Western Wyoming, a place where answers are needed. The Upper Green River Valley forms the southern stronghold of the Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem. This 18 million acre area encompasses some of the world's most treasured natural resources. Yellowstone National Park, Grand Teton National Park, the popular year-round recreation areas near Jackson, Wyoming, and little known to most, some of the United States' fastest growing gas and oil fields. The Upper Green also provides critical habitat for the region's wintering wildlife, including elk, pronghorn, mule deer, and sage grouse. This high desert valley hosts the winter destination for the longest big game migration route in the lower 48 states. Visitors to Yellowstone National Park enjoy some of the world's most spectacular geological wonders and wildlife habitat. Only 150 miles away from the headwaters of the Green River, the National Park is the pivotal piece in what is the largest intact temperate zone ecosystem left on Earth. As we head south over Yellowstone, we come to another amazing landscape, also part of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, Grand Teton National Park. The Teton Range is home to some of the country's most prized areas for outdoor sports, tourism, and ranching, all of which rely heavily upon the health of the Greater Yellowstone. If you were to stand atop the tallest peak of the range, the Grand Teton, and look east, this is what you would see on a clear day. You are looking right up the Grovant River Valley. Beyond the mountain range on the right lies the Upper Green River Valley, our destination. One of North America's longest overland wildlife migration routes crosses the Grovant Range. We're following the main migration corridor used by the pronghorn, shown in red. Twice a year, bands of pronghorn antelope migrate as far as 160 miles between summer range under the Tetons and winter range in the Upper Green and the Red Desert to the southeast. Having followed the migration route, you can now see into the heart of the Upper Green River Valley. This valley holds significant energy resources. It's mostly public land, administered by the Federal Bureau of Land Management, or BLM. Prolific deposits of natural gas thousands of feet below the valley account for more than one-fifth of Wyoming's annual production and generate over $3 billion a year. Pinedale is the valley's largest town and is located in Sublette County, Wyoming's fastest growing county thanks in part to the energy boom occurring here. Migrating big game animals are funneled through Trappers Point, a narrow rise pinched between the Green and New Fork rivers a few miles west of Pinedale. Pronghorn have passed through this bottleneck for at least 6,000 years. On the move, big game have to negotiate rural subdivisions, roads and fences, which have effectively pinched the bottleneck to only half a mile. Once through this gauntlet, they emerged in one of the fastest growing natural gas fields in the country. The Pinedale Anticline, located just south of the town of Pinedale, is one of the most profitable gas fields in the nation. Managed by BLM, the underground mineral resources are auctioned off to the highest bidder. In 2005, the Pinedale Anticline produced nearly 187 billion cubic feet of natural gas, with a wellhead value of about $1.4 billion. In 2000, BLM authorized the industry to drill up to 900 wells. The rapid development since then has displaced some of the wildlife that used to spend the winters here. Ongoing studies, funded by the gas industry and federal government, show that wintering mule deer population on the anticline has fallen by 46% since the drilling started in 1999. In this simulated time lapse, Satellite imagery used by SkyTruth reveals the changes in the landscape since 1986. Pay close attention as the access roads and well pad infrastructure expands, appearing as a spider web of bright lines and spots. Each bright spot is a drilling location or well pad, a three to four acre area bulldozed into the sagebrush. 
Graded roads and pipeline corridors link the well pads together into a sprawling network. But it's not just impact to the land. Air quality has suffered as well. Emissions of nitrous oxides from the drill rigs are now triple those predicted because the BLM underestimated the pace of drilling and the horsepower of the rigs. South of Pinedale, by about 32 miles, is the Jonah Field. Also managed by the BLM and leased by private companies including Encana Inc. and BP, the field contains an estimated 14 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. In 1999, Industry and government officials estimated that at most 500 wells would be required to fully tap the field, with only one well per 80 acres. But by 2003, more than 500 wells had been drilled, prompting industry to request permission to increase well densities by a factor of six or seven. The BLM approved this Jonah infill plan in 2006, authorizing industry to drill 3,100 new wells, despite serious concerns about the valley's declining air quality resulting from increased development. Up to 250 wells a year will be drilled, a rate three times the current pace. With this new plan, well spacing will decrease in some areas to as little as 10 acres. This is just the beginning of the story of oil and gas development in the southern greater Yellowstone ecosystem. The Upper Green drilling boom is now poised to spread west and north into the scenic mountains of the Wyoming Range. In the Bridger Teton National Forest, where by 2005 the U.S. Forest Service had already leased more than 150,000 acres. In 2005 and 2006, another 44,600 acres were offered in key wildlife areas west of Myrna, in the Horse Creek and Cottonwood Creek drainages. The Forest Service approved this leasing without any new environmental review or public comment, inciting a wave of challenges by property owners, Wyoming Governor Dave Frudenthal, sportsmen's groups, conservationists, and outfitters. Meanwhile, a plan to drill exploratory wells near the Holbeck Ranch's community in the north end of the range is moving through a Forest Service environmental impact review. Concerned by the impacts of drilling, local residents, Ranchers, business people, and conservationists have banded together to form the Upper Green River Valley Coalition. The group's mission is to urge BLM and industry to do it right, that is, develop the Upper Green's energy resources responsibly without sacrificing the valley's wildlife, clean air, and other priceless long-term natural assets. To learn more about gas and oil development in the valley and how you can get involved, visit the coalition's website, www.uppergreen.org. And to explore the valley on your own using Google Earth, visit SkyTruth at www.skytruth.org.